Go ahead. We're All good. Right. We're rolling. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have Brian Motter. First place overall at Red Eye Rendezvous. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so obviously you can tell it was really, really muddy out there. How were the conditions for you? Mm. You know, it was really just the very last lap that I think I got super muddy. <laughs> I think at the beginning, first couple laps, it was just kind of spray. But for whatever reason, the last lap, the, maybe it was drying up and getting thicker. Right. It started coming off the tire a little bit different. And yeah, Tristan and I were in a pretty good battle, so I was sitting on his wheel yeah. as close as possible and covered in mud. So you guys started out and there's a pack of four, you correct? Yeah, I think we pretty much lost one guy each lap. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's four of us and then lap two we lost Justin, lap three we lost Nathan and lap four with maybe about five minutes to go I dropped Tristan. So, um, so your probably biggest move of the day do you think was dropping Tristan? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of where it came down to it. Um, you know, Nathan's off. been <laughs> Nathan's been uh, pretty strong, um, but he faded early in the race, so that was kind of surprising, and that's where I kind of put in my first big dig. Um, I slowed down just a touch, made sure Tristan was on my wheel, because there was a lot of pedaling here, right? and I didn't want to do an entire last lap by myself. Right. Um, yeah, and then just Tristan and I battled it out and uh, kind of a little pump track section towards the end and went first into there and got a little gap and that was it. So you just kind of opened a gap in the single track, you didn't? Yeah, it was just a slow, slow, you know, one second, two seconds, right. four seconds. Nice. Yeah, it was good. It was really hot. Did that heat play any effect in your race today? No. 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 Um, with all the pedaling sections between the single track, I had plenty of time to drink, and you know, as always, did a good job preparation with the right. hydration beforehand. So it's a big deal. It was good. Well, congratulations. Awesome. Will we see you at Eau Claire? Probably not. No. All right. I think I'll probably end up skipping that one. All right. It's a long drive. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll see you again. Congratulations okay. today, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. Here we have Tristan Shouten. Took second place today at Red Eye Rendezvous. So, how'd it go today? I was happy. Um, I told Brian while we were out there racing, it's probably the best I felt in quite a while. So, good. I good. was feeling strong in the group, and I was able to kind of race my own race and control it where I wanted to control it. So, happy. Good. How did you feel? So how how was the mix between double track and single track? How I thought this year the race was great. Um, really good flow. We weren't doing like zero mile per hour U turns out right. there. We were constantly going fast, and it was pretty technical. Um, I thought it was a good mix of everything. Just enough double track, probably less than normal. But uh, the single track is good. I like it. They've kind of switched up the course compared to last year. Did you race here last year? Yeah. Did you like the change? I would say this is one of the best loss lock courses I've done. I like it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> um, so you said you were feeling really good. It was hot out today. Did that affect you at all? Not really. It, it, it's definitely probably the hottest we've raced all year. It's yep. probably one of the hottest days I've ridden all year. But it didn't seem to... I didn't seem to notice the race so much, other than I had sweat dripping in my eyes sometimes. But I didn't really notice it. I noticed it right now. But <laughs> Did you a, have any lap traffic? Hi, Wally. You got second? Yeah. I got second. Oh, great. oh let's bring it home, baby. Right. <laughs> uh, lap traffic was not a problem. Nope, that's no, that's good. See, and we caught some people, like always, but Yo! good. Do you catch Yo! a lot of people? But yeah, as long as we make it known that we're coming, they're usually pretty good at hopping off, mm -hmm. and hopping back on. I think it's pretty um, but congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And hopefully we'll see you later this season. Oh yeah. Yep. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have Nathan Guerra. He took third place overall today, correct? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, you Thanks. got kind of a flag going around. Yeah, flag be something. <laughs> thank you. Uh, smell. Oh, it's a horse flag. He's a big guy. Um. Yeah. <laughs> anyways. So how'd it go today for you? Um, I felt pretty strong the first couple laps. Um, 
you know, uh, there was a group of four of us right at the bat. <laughs> right at the bat, I actually crashed a little bit in the single track, held the held things up a little bit, and then closed the gap to uh, let's see here, Brian, Tristan, and Justin. Yep. And then uh, going up Ho Chi Minh, I was feeling pretty good. It's a suit, I don't know if yep. everybody listening, it's like super, super technical, rocky, East Coast like climb. Um, and just kept gunning it first and second lap there, kind of. Um, and I think uh, second lap ish, Justin was falling off the back a little. And I was feeling pretty good at that point. And then, um, I don't know, I think. I mean, last week I wasn't able to train much. I had a, I got a virus. I was pretty sick, laid out for like three or four days, literally in my bed, shaking and aching. So that wasn't probably too great for the endurance and like longer efforts. So I, uh, you know, third, fourth lap, I just kind of fell off the back. Mm -hmm. you know? Tr Tristan was riding really good in the super technical rocky downhill stuff. And uh, there's kind of like a section where you come through like probably the most technical downhill that was muddy today. You come out into like some slog mud that just like yeah. grabs your tires and makes you want to like, I don't know, go ride pavement forever rather than <laughs> mud that like grabs you like the blob and holds you there. Right. Just doesn't disintegrate you like the blob. But so it felt like I disintegrated at that point though, <laughs> pretty much. And, and then uh, Brian saw it was falling off and... You know, I think he's being a little tactical today. He yep. was hanging on the back most of the day, which was a smart race to play. Yep. And he played his card at that point, and I don't think there was any response happening anyways. Like, I suffered pretty bad the fourth lap. I think the uh, endurance was hurt. Um, last race you said you struggled with your hydration. Did you, were you able to correct that? That was really good today. Yeah, That's good. actually, yeah. We had some smaller water bottles, and uh, Asa, my daughter, did the... Uh, Hand ups today, and she did awesome. So good, good. Um, yeah, and then uh, yeah, hydration was good. Gels were good. Um, I think I'm just coming back from a virus, yep. and I think that's really all there is to it. It wasn't like it was a bad race either. I mean, third's good, and I was at the front yeah. of the race, you know, and was making a lot of the moves happen. I just I'm used to be able to go hard the whole time, and that wasn't that right. wasn't happening today. Well, I mean, coming back from a sickness, I mean that was. You still had a really good race, so congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, and props to those two, man. They were, they were hammering. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully we'll see you. Yeah, we'll see you at... Yep. We'll be at Firecracker. We're a uh, weekend away from me and Lindsay, so we're kind of excited. Yeah. You know, and with, uh, with five kids, we don't get away too much. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> well, again, congratulations, and we'll see you then. Thanks, Hello, Lindsay. ladies and gentlemen. Here I have Justin Piontek. We took fourth place today. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so you start out at your race with a pack of four, correct? Yeah, Brian, Nathan, Tristan, and myself. How, how was that? It was good. I felt pretty good for riding with those guys. Yeah. Was pretty good company. Yeah. It's, it's fun yeah. With those guys. Um, when did you kind of fall off the back? Um, it was close to the end of the lap. It got in that rocky, dark section. Yep. I kept on having problems. Okay. <coughs> so then they kind of rode off? Yeah, they were just a little bit ahead of me and I kept trying to get them and I was burning my matches and mm -hmm. the third lap I was pretty tired. So after you kind of fell off the back of that group of four, you, including you, did you ride with any other elite men? Nope, not all by myself. First so day. after the first lap you were all out there by yourself? Yep. But did you catch a lot of lap traffic? Um, it wasn't too bad actually, there was probably Right. right. And it was easy to get around here. That's good. Did you keep it upright today? No. <laughs> nope. Where did you go down? Um, Do you know? I cracked twice in that rocky stuff. Okay. Yeah. You just slip on a rock yeah. or what happened? The roots and the rocks were so slippery and it was so dark. I just, I dished my glasses and then it was better. But... Did you get a lot of mud in your eyes after you ditched them or were you pretty good? It's pretty good. Yeah. I think I used to it after that. Right. So, you're all right after those crashes? Yeah, I think so. I'm kind of dirty. I don't know if I got anything. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, after you like take all the dirt off, then you can, <laughs> then yeah. you can do a body yeah. inspection. Well, congratulations. Will we see you at, what's the next race? Eau Claire? Yeah, if that's the next one. I'll yeah? Be. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have Ben Sedgwick. You took fifth today? Yep. Congratulations. Thanks. So, the start. How'd that go for you? Uh, the start was pretty good. Just like, 99% of the field, everybody got bottleneck unless you were like top three. Right. Um, 
going through, there was a couple people that were sketchy through there, hitting some stuff, bobbling. Uh, one guy went down, got around him. And then like halfway through, another guy went down, got around him. And then me and another guy, Josh Bauer from Minnesota, took off. Josh got away, so then it was just me and Casey Hildebrandt riding. And then going through the double track, taking poles with Casey, finally caught Josh again. Came through the last lap and through the start finish, we could see the leaders only like yeah, 30 seconds, 20 mm -hmm. seconds up. So we tried to catch them, but it wasn't really worth it. So right. we dialed it back, sat up a little bit, recovered, and then after we all took a little quick breather, we got going again. But that front group just walked away from us. So you were with kind of Casey and Josh, kind of the the rest of your race after the start. Yep. Um. So you were with Casey, but you beat him. How did you like put a move on him? Uh. So there was a little mishap at the end where we were going, and then uh, one of the guys went down. So then Casey sat up a little bit. I sat up a little bit, but Casey sat up a little bit more than I did. And then we went through a really rocky technical section, and I think since they were fully rigid, they were struggling a little bit through there anyways. Mm -hmm. With my only front suspension, I opted for a hardtail today. Um, I was able to keep it smooth through there and just on the roads hold it and then ended up getting Josh and Casey only by a little bit, but it was just enough to take fifth. So, so you kind of pulled away in a single track and your suspension helped you with that? Yep. That's good. Did you, so it was hot, did that play any effect in your race? Uh, the first lap I'd say yeah, because going from zero to a hundred yeah. real quick, it was, it was tough because being probably 75, 80 degrees, but it was just the humidity. Yeah. Made it like a little harder to breathe because it was thicker, but after that your body gets used to it and then you can just kind of do your own thing, keep water dumping on you, keep sipping on water throughout, so. Right. Did you keep a good job hydrating today? Yeah. Um, I think I actually ate a little bit too much before the race because I only ate like one gel. Usually I go through a lot more, but it worked, so I yeah. guess I should start eating more before the race. <laughs> That's all right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Will we see you at Eau Claire? No, because I fly out in uh, tomorrow, I guess, Monday, the whatever date that mm -hmm. is, for the Colorado Springs Pro XCT race. Okay, so well, good luck out there. Thank you. All right, congratulations again today. Thanks.